Hello, Cancer. It's my lady from Milady's Winter, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading from October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing. So, um, it's a lot of people getting free from their situations, free from people free from uh addictions free from uh abuse free from just anything negative you know all right uh you want to look at that but it's a secret so somebody is secretly like running away from a situation or or leaving a situation yeah i just had an anxiety attack so <laughs> somebody is like really like thinking about just up and leaving like i feel like uh, they ready for like start your engines or i'm uh, right at the the start line waiting for the the gun to go off that's what kind of feeling i'm getting from from this freedom so somebody is about to take off and not look back some of you okay all right let me just go ahead cancer cancer Jeez, you guys. All right, so whatever this situation is, either it hasn't been going on for a long time or it could be a new relationship. So if it's an old relationship, it's only been happening for a few months, whatever is making you want to leave. Yeah, but it could just be a new relationship and, and you just like, uh-uh, I'm, I'm not getting stuck in this. All right, cancer love reading. What's going on for the cancer, cancer, cancer? Cancer love reading. Ooh, cancer. Cancer love reading. Cancer love reading. October 16th. Through the 22nd. October 16th through the 22nd. So, somehow, we blew another card off. And it's the Five of Cups. So, some kind of loss is indicated here. Um... Now I feel like I'm obligated to pull another one. So it seems like somebody might have lost some money. Like somebody gave you something or you gave somebody something. But it's just basically saying don't expect to get that back. Okay. All right. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Cancer, love reading. See, October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. Wow, okay, so you guys are starting to look for things. Look at things for how they really are. Looking at yourself and what's going on in the situation. So it seems like gifts are being received here. Mm. I just heard, is it worth it? All right, so whatever the situation is, it's looking like it might be a good outcome. So let's see why. What is this mirror card about? For the cancer. What is this mirror card about for the cancer? Love reading October 16th through 22nd, 2017. Okay. So, somebody is really thinking about if they want to be in this situation. It seems like somebody is thinking about their future and how they want it to be. And I feel like that's where they're going to get. They're going to get this. I feel like somebody is trying to make a new life for themselves something that they value something of their own and i feel like they're trying to get some freedom from a situation to do this okay what is this freedom about what is this freedom about for the cancer what is this freedom about for the cancer october 16th through the 22nd 2017 Okay, so it seems like somebody's just trying to break free from fake friends and just people that are against them. This card was coming out too. Okay, so it seems like somebody is trying to break off from fake friends that they pissed off at. Or maybe your fake friends are pissed off at you and you just breaking them off like I don't even care. You know, I'm about to go do my own thing, okay? All right, so... Sorry, guys. Uh, it seems like whatever the situation, and if it's going to happen within the next two weeks if it's not happening already, okay? 
They're going to do something to piss you off. Yeah, you haven't found out or seen what they're capable of. Yeah, this could be um, a, a love interest too, okay? All right, so it seems like um, you haven't found what you're looking for, and this could be in a relationship. You won't open your heart to somebody, and I'm feeling like your friends might be mad about it, but it's like, forget what they thinking about. Those really ain't your friends anyway, is what do you feel, okay? All right, so yeah, so you don't want to deal with this situation like that um, because this person don't treat you right. It's like they throw gifts at you and then they want you to chase them around. And you're like, I don't want that, you know? All right, so it seems like some more secrets are getting ready to come out. And it's, wow, this person, you guys don't want each other. So this person thinking about letting you go, you um, already probably let them go. But it seems like somebody might want to come back to leave, you know? Or somebody just trying to come back to you. This could be this person... You left this person. You left somebody, and they're trying to come back to you, okay? So, Cleo cards. I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. What's going on for the cancer? Cancer, cancer, cancer. Love reading October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. Cancer, cancer, cancer. October 16th through the... 16th through the 22nd, 2017. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Okay, so we're dealing with some um, kind of deceitful person. Mm. Use their authority against you. Okay, so this person has you feel trapped. So this could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but general reading, it could be anything. All right, so it seems like this person has you feel entrapped, this lying, deceitful person, or this could be you, has somebody feeling like they're trapped, and they I feel like they're using money to do it. They're using money, a lot of gifts. And right now, I feel like you might have stockpiled this money and you dipped out. And now this person trying to come back for you. And your friends, these fake friends telling you, oh, you should go back. You should go back. They got this. But you already know that you can't open your heart to this person. Like, I don't want this person. I got what I need, you know. So it seems like this person could have been somehow related to a new job where they could have been trying to give you a, uh, offer you money on a business deal and they didn't or and something went sour but let's uh read it straight out the book all right so we're looking for what is that swords the king of swords i don't know why i want to look for a knight of swords All right, Knight of Swords, King of Swords, sorry. King, King, King. King of Swords. King, King, King. All right, it's reversed. Um, cruel nature, insensitive, and hidden agenda. So, yeah, I think this is the person... For when they come back, they're going to be, like, trying to act like they're nice and they change just to get you back. And I feel like, sort of feel like they're going to try to leave you once they get back. But it's like, you already got everything you need, so why would you take this person back? But not my business. All right, so now we got the Eight of Swords, and it says, A feeling of being trapped. Help prisoner trapped by some force, a situation difficult to escape from. So it's like, although you got away from this person, it, it, you may still be like mentally stuck there. Like maybe I should go back, you know, or if I go back, I can get more, more money. But I think your trap is like, it's a, it's a trap all about money, but it's like this person, 
I don't know. I mean, just the the, the I don't want to be around you card, this yearning card, and then the King of Swords makes me feel like it may be some kind of uh, physical abuse going on also. And I feel like you stacked money and you left, but you were supposed to start new plans, but you didn't want no, no parts of it. You're just trying to run away. All right, so we got the nine of coins. Many of your dreams are approaching, and it's now time for financial gain and realization of your goals. So it's basically like now, now that you dipped out of this relationship, you can do what you've been wanting to do. And for some of you, probably go back to school, you know? So we have the Ace of Coins reverse. This card indicates a negative influence or money and inaccurate information. Okay, so... I don't know. This makes me feel like I feel like sort of just because of this that when you go back, this person is gonna try to find some way to to take the money back from you. But you know better than I do, and that's all I have. So make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a person to read and check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.